Okay, secondary sources. What is a secondary source? A secondary source is a special case where I am reading a research paper or I'm reading a book and I see an idea and that idea has a reference and it says that somebody wrote this idea but you know what I cannot find that paper I cannot find that original book let me see if I can draw that to be more clear so let's say there's an example I'm reading a research paper and inside this paper there's an idea we're gonna call it idea a it's a great idea a and this idea a has a reference and it's Smith 1905 well maybe because it's 1905 it's a little bit hard to find maybe it's been not categorized, uh, cate categorized or not logged in some kind of database maybe it's in a special library of special book and there's no list I can find and I cannot get to that library what do I do so I would like to cite this I would like to in my paper write Smith 1905 but I need to get more information, don't I? In the next part, in the next lesson, we're going to learn about the reference. And when you write your reference list, you need to have things like the name, the year, the publication date, maybe the publisher, the page number. You need to have a lot more information. Where do you get that information from? You need to go to the source, the original, the source. What if we cannot find the source? That's this case. Thus. In this situation, I cannot find Smith, but I can find this research paper here, and this research paper is by Evans, and this research paper was published in 2015, and this research paper I can find, but this, this one here I cannot find. So what can I do? This is called secondary source. Smith is the original source. Evans is the secondary source. The secondary source, not the original source. So what can I do in that case? Well, I'm kind of stuck. Now, APA is very clear about this. You should find original sources. When you are reading a research paper and you see an idea and they reference someone like Smith, you should not copy that and say, oh, this is just like Smith's idea. No, you must find Smith's paper. APA is very clear and so is MLA. You should not copy other people's references and just write down the idea from another paper. You need to read the original paper. You need to find it. However, if you cannot, really you cannot, and I, <laughs> you can then use it as a secondary source. But this is highly discouraged. Absolutely not a good thing to do very much. Maybe just some time. I have to tell you that I've been in defenses of dissertations and a thesis where a reviewer will ask or a um, committee member will ask the student presenting, this reference, what is this from? What does this mean? Did you read that paper? And the student will be put on the spot and say, well, no, I didn't really read that paper. I copied it from another paper. This reference was copied from another paper. And then once this happens, the committee member is very easy to say, well, how many did you do that way? Did you read any papers for this research? And things get sticky very fast, very dangerous thing to do. But the a APA does have a way to do this officially, and that is right here, as cited in. So in this case, Allport's diary, I would like to cite this, but I cannot find it. However, there is another person, Nicholson. He wrote about Allport's diary. So I can cite Nicholson, 2003, as cited in. In. Allport's diary, as cited in, shows an interest in this research. Okay? 
So this is the way to do it officially, but you don't want to do it much. And you certainly don't want to cheat and write references that you really didn't read.